All right, hello, and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine, and Pipeliner CRM, joining you, as usual, from San Diego. And today, I'm delighted to be joined by John Groth, who is in Wisconsin right now, northern Wisconsin. Northern doing, Wisconsin, the very tippy top of Wisconsin, so a little bit <laughs> different than San Diego, sadly, or maybe not so sadly, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 70 degrees and uh, beautiful. It's great here right now. Don't don't ask me about the weather in January. Then then yeah. you'll beat us every day of the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And although people here, like my wife, will complain that it's cold. But what can you do? Well, yeah. Um, you haven't seen cold until you've come, been in northern Wisconsin. Exactly. Yeah. So John is a personal injury litigation attorney at Growth Law Firm in Samson, Samster, Cankel and Saffron Law Offices, yep. a division of Growth of Gro Growth Law Firm. And what we're going to talk about today is is selling your service. And I think this is this is a great subject, John, because I think when you know, there's a lot of people now, you know, we have to talk about the great resignation and all of that. There's a lot of people uh, who are trying to kind of go out on their own or be management consultants or, you know, set up their own attorney practice or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And and then for the first time, like kind of selling selling a service that may be somewhat it's tangible, but somewhat intangible, too. Uh, and that's always where there's a bit of a struggle when people start to go and, and try and sell a service that they especially one that maybe isn't slightly intangible is that they don't really know how to package the value of it or how to communicate the value of it or what the person is getting yeah what do you yeah, what I, do you think i think selling a service and selling your experience i think that's the big deal right is what what you're selling is exactly what you've been through and how you can use that life experience to help your customer now, that's something that we do every single day is, is we're talking to people who are having uh, you know, life changing events, you know, something that, that mm -hmm. you know, they, they may have been involved in a car crash where, um, well, I, I mean, I can tell you real life experiences are just clients who've lost arms, for example, and, and they'll mm -hmm. never, ever be able to get back to where they were before. And what what do you sell? You know, we're selling our experience to hopefully alleviate some of that stress hopefully to alleviate some of the questions. So there, the, the uncertainty doesn't lead to inactivity and then nothing happens and they wait too long. And then because they don't know that you can't wait too long, you've mm -hmm. lost the right to recover. You now, those things are what you're selling. You know, you're selling our life experience, our, um, our combined uh, uh, knowledge so we can help people out. Mm -hmm. And and obviously a crucial part of that is you're selling trust too, right? Yes. That's the oh, that's the 100%. the most important part, yeah. Yeah. So how do yeah. you how do you go about establishing that trust? Um, well, really, with us, it's it, it's getting to know the person, getting to know who your client is, who your customer is right away. So understanding where they're coming from, and really um, knowing when to stop talking and when to start listening, which is right away. So asking mm -hmm. questions, the, the open-ended questions, and just letting somebody talk and understand what their particular situation is. And once you have a general idea, then you establish that trust by saying, I understand that you've gone through this. Let me tell you how I would deal with that and how, how I will help you in the future because of my experience. So you, you're able to identify with the person, empathize, um, empathize to some extent, and then explain to them how you will directly assist their situation, their exact set of facts. Yeah, because I think uh, when you're when obviously, you know, this better than than me in the law context. But I think when you're selling a service is, uh, is the person, everybody comes to it feeling that they have a kind of unique issue, right? Even yes. when they're not unique. So you have to kind of help. I mean, you have to make them feel like you're really understanding what their particular situation is, even if you've come across it a hundred times before. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think a hundred percent that, that you can say, Hey, this is what I know will happen with this situation that the, the other side, you know, in, in our world there, there's always mm -hmm. two sides. There's the victim side and then the insurance side or the at fault side. And I know from my experience that they're going to try to do X, Y, and Z. And many times before 
the client or the prospective client tells us something, I will say, well, the insurance company may try to have you sign mm -hmm. a medical authorization and that'll allow them to get medical records from the day you're born until now. And th th this happened just a couple of weeks ago where the, uh, the prospective client said, well, you're right. And in fact, they asked for all of our medical records in the very beginning where they don't have the right to do that. And um, so that's something that we can show, okay, we understand their exact situation. We know from our experience that the other side, the at-fault insurance is going to try to do certain things. And we can um, really show them that what we're telling them is going to be helpful because we understand what the other side is already trying to do. And and obviously, as as obviously as part of that is uh, is that is the communication part because obviously, when somebody's in a situation like that, they can often feel alone, uh, or you know, and they don't know what to do. So proactive, even when they may have engaged with somebody such as yourself, they still maybe are like, oh, what's going on, and all of this. Yeah. So proactive and uh, communication is obviously critical in a situation like that too. I agree. I think you know that that's where this this kind of video, um, what what we do is we have a a text and an email that goes out, and this is with you know pipeline sales with uh, other CRMs. Mm -hmm. That what you can do is create a system in place that has communication immediately to the prospective client, to the prospective customer, to say this is who we are, this is what we do, and you can do that with the written word certainly and. Mm -hmm. PDFs and flyers and newsletters, but also, you know, we use um, uh, condensed links like a bit.ly link that has yeah. a video to our website. So then it's a it, it's a video of me saying, my name mm -hmm. is John Growth. I'm a personal injury attorney. This is what I do. These are just general facts that I'll tell you that that uh, you know, may relate to your case or you know things like that. And this is the process. This is the timeline. And I say all those things right away so hopefully they'll they'll understand that we are uh, we are there for them and it's not just some you know uh word on a screen but it's a real life person it's me in wisconsin going to help them um even though we may only ever meet electronically or virtually i should say um but mm -hmm. you're able to create that 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 connection and the the communication you know we we also have a system that our main telephone line is also textable. So they can send right. SMSs or texts to us. And I say, please text us 24 hours a day because you may wake up in the middle of the night and have a question. We're not going to be around. Hopefully I'll be asleep at midnight, but um, yeah. you will you will have the ability to just text us and say, hey, growth, what do you think about X, Y, and Z? Or I just remembered there was a witness to this accident and her name gave, or, or, or she gave me the card and her name is, you know, whatever. Um, but that's the continued conversation. So they know that right when we get back in the office at eight in the morning, somebody will, will respond and say, thank you. And then you can continue to work for them. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's so I think that's so important because I, I think people were feeling pre pandemic even that a lot of things were getting so impersonal and they were getting pushed even more and more away from whatever organization or company they were dealing with. So I think, and, and the pandemic obviously uh, accentuated that. So I think there's a real thirst for the connection. And obviously when you're, when you're selling a service, if you're a small company or you're a person on your own, but at the end of the day, you're really selling yourself. I mean, you really are the product at the end of the day. So that whole, as you said, sending the video and, and that making those personal connections is, is so critical because if you're the product, then they, they need to see the product. Oh, oh, certainly. And, and, and the continued um, time, you know, the, I guess the continued virtual FaceTime or the, you know, the video FaceTime, I think is important because um, in our world, there's an attorney around every corner. You know, and a lot yeah. of things you're selling there, there are competitors that are always popping up and they're going to be there as long as you have your brand and you understand um, what somebody is going through and you're able to, to help them through the process and you're uh, working together. Um, I, I trust that, you know, we're going to be able to do, do right by our clients and they're going to understand that it is something that we take personally and, um, having that connection is important that they're not going to go to somebody else the next time, because sadly, you know, people get in multiple car accidents and there, or have other questions that they have. And they may have a question about 
drafting a will. Well, I'm not going to do that, but I have people that I trust that I will then refer mm-hmm. them to. So we have those, those continued connections. Yeah. Well, we used to say back in Ireland that if you threw a rock out a window, you'd hit a short story writer. I think uh, in the US, <laughs> we throw a rock, rock out the window, you'll hit an attorney. <laughs> it's, well, there's just so many billboards. I just, it's uh, TV ads everywhere. I, I'm, I don't know what's going to happen in 10, 20 years, but uh, it's a lot different than when I started 22 years ago. It's a much different so, world. And I'm sure people will say that about you know, 20 years before that, that it's constantly changing. You just have to adapt. Yeah. So how do you how do you make sure that you that you stand out in, in a crowded in a crowded market like this? Um, how do we stand out? That's a great question. And I think it's it's uh, number one technology. You know, um, mm-hmm. sadly, there are um, a lot of, uh, I guess, competitors that are um, doing things that are just unnecessary, meaning um, uh, there, there are so many things you can use technology to help the customer experience. Yeah. So with our texting and our emailing and our videos and all of that, you know, we have a podcast, we have all these different ways that we can stand out, that we can just simply show that, okay, um, what I say to clients is listen to our podcast. You know, I know that you have a situation involving an Uber, you know, let's say an Uber struck the rear of your vehicle and now, now your vehicle is damaged and you're injured. Well, we just did a podcast about that, you know, listen to it because you'll understand then that we understand what you're going through. You know, th- this is something that we have mm-hmm. combined knowledge where my staff and I are discussing these situations. And it really, I think it helps us to explain who we are and that we can really um, have some uh, added benefit to everybody's case because of what we know. So I mean, that's how you stand out is by using technology and showing um, our knowledge to prospective clients, because you, know, you can go to a billboard and then from a billboard, go to somebody's <laughs> website and it might look good, but do you know anything beyond? And that's what we're trying to sh- show is that you know, watch our videos, watch our, um, watch our, uh, we have some different videos on La podcasts mm-hmm. and things like that, that really have us talking to an audience and getting a right. sense of who we are as people. Yeah, no, no, I think that I think that's great. Yeah, because I think if you go, to be honest, to a lot of law companies and um, websites, they look like they were designed in the late 90s, maybe revamped in the early 2000s, but beyond that, not that much. And I think you're right, there's a lot of them who aren't leveraging uh, leveraging technology and, and and help for people because let's face it when you go when you start to engage in an, in an attorney you always think oh my goodness everything I do now is going to cost me money right I'm going to pick mm-hmm. up the phone sure. it's going to cost me I'm going to do this so um, when you're saying like here's lots of help for you you're kind of like bucking that trend a little bit because you're saying here's some here's some information here's some stuff you do it's not going to cost you anything to actually learn a little before you even engage yeah no I and it- I tell that to people all the time, you know, you can probably do this on your own. It might take mm-hmm. you a lot longer and you're going to have some stress because you're not going to know, well, if I say this, what will happen? You could research it and Google will probably tell you a pretty accurate answer. But, um, you know, that's where I will gladly share that information. But the value that we add is that you can entrust us with the case and know that we're going to have a strategy in place and we're going to do what's right and know that if we say this, something else might happen in the future, and we're going to do things that are only going to benefit your case uh, and mm-hmm. keep you informed along the way. So you know, things like that, um, I think that's something that I can't think of all the you know wiser people than than myself who have given things away, and there's a benefit to that. You know, if you give mm-hmm. things away, you are going to receive in the end. Yeah, no, absolutely, and I think, and I think again, it's part of that trust building, trust building process. Uh, so, if you were, if you were advising somebody who maybe, maybe they're in a big law firm right now, or whatever, and they think, okay, I want to, I want to go out on my own, or I want to build a small, my own small practice. I want to start. I want to join the Great Resignation, and I want to live in a cabin in Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> what would your, what would your advice be to them? How to get, how to start it properly. Um, how to start it properly. My, my advice, um, have a really good banker, uh, <laughs> make friends with, with, uh, bankers. I think you need to, 
uh, join organizations that are um, not only attorney organizations, but like your uh, chamber of commerce and those organizations. So you can meet people who are also small business people and understand what a startup is. Um, and uh, I would, to be honest, start, start, I guess a podcast, I'll call it, or start some kind of recording and create content online that you start today. You know, what's the saying? And the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best yeah. time is today. And just yeah. start that content online because uh, when you get going and your firm is going, you have to have that digital footprint now. And if you start now um, in 10, 20 years, uh, it's going to be life changing for you because you're really going to have a lot there that Google, that 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 Google, Yahoo, or whomever is around is going to be able to acknowledge and identify you as one of the uh, hopefully one of the top minds in your industry. So yeah. uh, those things, yeah, banker, uh, chamber of commerce, and do a recording, start a, I guess, a blog, a video blog, or something like that. And and obviously in in these kind of businesses and service businesses generally is that that referrals are obviously cr a critical piece. So building building a good network um, mm -hmm. of of people who can you refer business to and you can refer business to them is obviously another critical piece. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. Joining the chamber of commerce where where you're going to meet people who are, you know, mm -hmm. if you're doing um, transactional work, you'll meet people who are maybe in need of something and they'll. Uh, I'll give you a chance. And if you do good work, you're going to succeed. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so tell me, um, what what are what are some of the what are some of the feedbacks that you get from from your clients when when they say to you, oh wow, this is a different experience than I was expecting, or this is like this is better than I've had previously. What are some of the things that they highlight? Well, I think one of the things that 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 we're seeing is um the ease of information. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's one thing when you're, uh, you know, you certainly expect, you expect certain, uh, communication in certain ways, uh, to get, uh, an Uber, you know, when they come by yep. and you know, Hey, the Uber is going to be here in five minutes and you have the instant gratification, the instant knowledge. Um, and you expect certain things when you're go into a play, for example, and you have your digital tickets and there are reminders Well, you have to don't forget to go on this door. Don't forget to go on that door. You know, those kind of things. I think it's different when you're hiring an attorney or hiring a professional. Um, you, you, don't, you don't expect to see um, kind of some guidance as to what the process is going to be. You know, it's probably a lot of, um, uh, it's, it's intimidating. You know, you're not quite sure what's going to happen and what these people will expect of you. So having that initial understanding, have the information shared in multiple different ways, I think is something that people have said, that's really helpful. Thank you. And that, that's probably the biggest thing I hear is right away in the beginning, you know, thank you for this information. You know, we send um, emails and newsletters, texts and, and the videos. So right away, they if they have a timeline and kind of a roadmap as to what's going to happen. And that's really we, we get a number of reviews online from people who are right away in the beginning of the process, which I think is unusual. And I, yeah. I think it's a good thing because they see, oh, this is going to be easy. Hopefully, you know, it's what happened to them is not good and it's a bad situation. But if we can make the whole process easier from the get go and hopefully that's going to maintain throughout the entire process, that that's um, I think the 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 biggest thing that I see, the biggest, um, uh, you know, positive aspect of the practice and selling our service is that they know right away and they're helped right away. Yeah. And I, and I think that's fantastic because I do think often when people engage with, you know, it's stressful when you're obviously they're in a stressful situation, then engaging with attorneys can be stressful, not really understanding. I mean, most, you know, lay people, you're a personal injury lawyer. Yeah. 
maybe I kind of understand what that is, but maybe I don't. Maybe I, you know, so sometimes you don't, maybe you're even talking to the wrong type of lawyer to begin with, you know, mm -hmm. so oh, sure. um, any, anything you anything you can do to educate and make that person feel comfortable. I, I'm not surprised if, if, if all the stuff you do, I'm not surprised that you get reviews be early in the process because I'm sure, I'm sure it is a surprise to a lot of people saying, wow, this is not what I was expecting from an attorney. Yeah, yeah. I, um, again, leveraging technology, like you said, you know, that's a great way to put it, leveraging technology, uh, because it, it just a matter of helping people and helping people with information. The more, you know, the better. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, John, this has been great. Uh, all of John's information is going to be below this video. Um, but before we go, John, do please tell people a little bit more about you and your company. Great. Thanks. Yeah. We're, we're a personal injury firm based in Wisconsin. We have a really an international practice, I like to say, because we have um, attorneys in our firm that, that do vaccine injuries, which, you know, we, you can help clients from all over the world um, uh, for flu vaccines and things like that. And then we also help people who are involved in like mass tort situations, if you had taken Zantac, for example, or other mm. uh, uh, bad drugs. But uh, a large part of our practice are car accidents, semi-truck accidents, and other um, uh matters where somebody's injured because of somebody else's negligence in Wisconsin. Our website is growthlawfirm.com, G-R-O-T-H lawfirm.com. Our number is 414-999-0000, easy to remember. And you can text it, text and call or text or call uh, that 414-999-0000. Yeah, and I love that. By the way, I love the fact that you can text uh, your direct, you know, your office number as well as call it, because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to <laughs> trying to text a number that doesn't take text. I know. Yeah, yeah, that was a big deal. We had to get that right away. Uh, we had to implement that. That was that was one of the first things because that's so frustrating. Because people now, you'll be on your cell phone and you'll have like an automatic response that I'm busy yeah. or I'm in the car, or, I'm driving. Uh, so it's nice for us to know that yeah. when we called yeah. somebody. And they respond via text that, that we know that there is that communication again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, thanks again, John. There's some great insights there for any of you in a service business, for any of you in in the in a law practice or thinking of setting up one. Fantastic insights. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. Thank you again, John. And I'll see you all again soon. Yeah.